Hello YouTube family. Welcome to Peggy Joe's Kitchen and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some sofrito. And as I go through cutting the sofrito and making it, I'll explain to you uh, what I'm putting in the sofrito and what I use the sofrito in. I hope all is doing well today. Stay tuned. Let's get started. Okay, YouTube family. So, these are the ingredients I use to make my sofrito. Here we have a bunch of parsley. We have a bunch of green onions and I'm going to cut the bottoms off of the green onions and get rid of all the bad uh, leaves but I have already washed the vegetables and here you have a bunch of cilantro and then a few stalks of uh, celery along with the leaves and we're going to use red bell pepper yellow, orange, and green. And here we have a, a Cubanella um, pepper. This is an Italian frying pepper. Okay, and we're gonna use one yellow onion and a half of a, a, a red onion. And here I have several pots of uh, garlic. Ooh, hmm, they smell strong. Okay. And here we have one lemon, and I'm going to juice this lemon, and it's going to go into the sofrito while it's blending. So what we're going to do first is get all our peppers ready. So let's move that aside. Okay, so let's start with our peppers first. So the, I'll show you how I like to do mine. I cut the top off of it, just like that. And I take my knife and just go around the stem. Okay, just like that. And then I reach in and pull the seeds out. And it's just that easy. Okay, let's go ahead and do our green bell pepper. And go inside and just pull it right out. And you're left with a really clean pepper. And the red one. So let's go ahead and do our cubanella. Cubanella. Hmm. It smells just like the bell peppers. It's just a different shape. Let's wash the seeds out of that one. And seeds are sitting right there on top. going to rough chop all of these uh, peppers. Okay, let's go ahead and do our onion. Let's 
pull that one layer of skin off. All right, so since I already have the onion in my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and rough chop it. Let's turn it over, one, two, and then straight down the back. Okay, and rough chop all the peppers. And what I'm gonna do, once I've uh, blended all of my ingredients together, I am going to put them in ice cube trays. And, and when I'm ready for, uh, you know, to put something, put the, the um, sofrito into my dish, I'll just pop a couple uh, cubes out, and you don't even have to let it thaw out. You can put it, as long as your pan is hot, you got a little oil, but you, you don't want to just put it right down in, you want to saute it. So, that's the best way to do it, is to cook it first. Just rough chop that. And this, you know, it's a little, takes a little time for the prep, but it's, it's so worth it. It is really worth it. We're almost done with the peppers. Yep, this is going to be really good. I use it like in my uh, Mexican di dishes and uh, my spaghetti. I use it in my red beans. I make pinto beans or something like that. Now let's go ahead and do our half of a purple onion. Okay. And it, it's really, really pretty. So vibrant and so fresh. All right, let's go ahead and do our lemon and then we'll get started on the stalk vegetables. Okay. Got a few seeds in there. We'll get those out later. Okay, let's go ahead and put everything on this tray until we're ready for it. This is very pretty.
whatever dish I put this in, it's going to make it pop with flavor. Okay. Let's go ahead and So let's go ahead and rough chop. I've already washed my celery. So let's just rough chop it. And we're going to do the stems and all when it comes to the cilantro and the parsley. Just let's cut that down a little bit. Ooh, full of, oh man, it smells so good. You cut down in the, into those vegetables. They just release all kind of smells. Ooh, very fragrant. Okay. So let's go ahead and prepare our green onions. as well. We're going to clean up and get started blending. We're going to put those vegetables in the food processor. Okay, so what you want to do is start with your peppers and onions because they will release some liquid and make it easy for, for the uh, green vegetables to get mixed up. So you want to kind of alternate. You want to put some, some peppers in, put a couple handfuls of uh, garlic, handful of onions, parsley and cilantro, and some celery. Okay. Put the top on it. Top off and see what it looks like. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Look at there. It's pretty. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and leave that in. Let's just push it down. And we're gonna add some more green vegetables. Let's 
some more garlic. Okay, and now we're gonna put a few drops of uh, lemon juice. That's probably about, about a uh, teaspoon full. Okay, let's get it going again. I like to leave mine kind of chunky. I don't want it uh, like mush. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a bowl. Let's see, do we need to, let me do it just a little bit more. Let's bump it a couple more times. This is a big batch. I'm not going to have to make any for, ooh, probably six months. <laughs> but as long as you freeze it, I'm going to freeze them in the ice cubes and then pop them out once they're froze and put them in Ziploc bags. And they'll be ready to go. Beautiful. I'm trying to see if I can put it in a really good light. I think with this green bowl, it's kind of uh, not showing too good. Okay, so now we're ready for our second batch. Remember, start with the peppers because they have water in them. more peppers and onions. Let's see if we can get that going. Y'all have to excuse my old food processor. It's got a lot of miles on it. <laughs> Okay, this is the last little bit. We're almost there. And once I get it all done, I'm gonna stir it all together. Make sure it's well mixed up. Let's see, let's just leave that there. Okay. And the thing about it, I have several new food processors and blenders, but I keep going back to Old Faithful. She's been dropped and cracked and broke. <laughs> but 
She's still going. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and put the rest in there. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go buy some more ice trays. I love doing this sofrito. It's just so rewarding. And the flavors when you're cooking with it. Wow, I'm getting no better. Okay, let's go ahead and stir it up. Mm. All right. And it has my whole house smelling like seasonings. For all fresh though. If you do this, I'm sh I'm sure you would do it again. If you do it one time and try it, you're going to love it. Okay. And when you're cooking this uh, and you're cooking your dishes, you can still add other like bigger chopped onions or any other vegetables. But you just want to put a couple of, or two or three cubes of this in it and it's going to knock your socks off <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and get cleaned up and then we'll start putting it in the ice trays okay so let's go ahead and start filling up our ice trays let's see yep one tablespoon So once they freeze up, I'm going to bring you guys back and show you how to put them, how I put them in my uh, Ziploc bags and put them back in the freezer. And I mean, this is pure flavor here, pure flavor. I think the only thing would make it any better if if I grew my own vegetables. That's the only thing. But my neighbor has a garden and she'll be giving me some things. So I'll bring you back and show you what I'm doing with uh, the vegetables that she gives me. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this, this blue ice tray. And then I'll just uh, go off camera and finish doing the rest of them. I know y'all get the gist of what I'm doing here. So you know it takes a, one tablespoon to fill each hole. You want to you know, mix it every now and then so that you won't leave by, behind a lot of juice. You want the juice to go in there as well. Okay. So I'll see you guys when everything is frozen and set. Okay, YouTube family. So uh, my sofrito has set and they're all frozen. And I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the ice trays and put them into uh, the Ziploc bags. 
But before I do that, I want to uh, shout out one of my subscribers, Sharon Small. She requested that I do the sofrito. She heard me talking about sofrito and she uh, wanted me to uh, do a batch of it. So I did. So stay tuned and thanks Sharon once again <clears throat> for subscribing to my channel. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what the sofrito looks like once they're frozen. I'm going to uh, go ahead and put them in the Ziplocs. Okay. This is a nice batch here. This will last me a good while. Get on out of there. Look at there. That's just two. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Someone was calling me. So that's just, that's two. So let's go ahead and put two in another bag. So look how easy they're popping out now. I let them sit out just for a little while. And you can always run water on the bottom of your, not the top, not where your sofrito is, on the bottom of your ice cube tray. See how easy this one comes out. Oh, we're doing good. There it is. Okay, I'm going to take one out and bring it up a little closer. This is what it looks like. It's nothing but good vegetables in there can't wait to use it let's go ahead and close these up and you want to put them in the freezer as soon as you take them out of the ice trays they'll still start sticking together and we're trying to prevent that okay let's go ahead and put them up Okay, YouTube family, I hope you all enjoy my sofrito video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And don't forget to put a comment, a comment down below uh, on if you've ever had sofrito. Uh, are you going to try it? Um, so just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you. Bye.